Originally, I meant to do this on Valentine's Day, which would have been his anniversary, but unfortunately, I forgot and missed it. So I thought it would be good to do this video on the day of Sir Tom Finney's birthday. This is a brief history of Sir Tom Finney and his legacy. Sir Tom Finney, CBE, was an English footballer who played from 1946 to 1960 as an outside left for Preston North End in England. He is widely acknowledged of being one of the sport's greatest ever players. He was noted for his loyalty to Preston, for whom he made 569 first class appearances and for many outstanding performances in international matches. In later life, Finney was, uh, Tom Finney was the club's president for both Preston and of non-league Kendall Town FC. For his charity work, he was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire, or OBE, in 1961, New Year's Honours List, and a commander of the Order of the British Empire, or CBE, in the 1992 New Year's Honours List, and was knighted in the 1998 New Year's Honours List. Tom Finney was born on the 5th of April 1922. Tom Finney started playing football from a very early age, both at school and in the field near his home. His ambition was always to become a professional footballer. He became an apprentice for a local plumbing company. The following year, Tom Finney saw an advert placed by Preston North End in the local newspaper for junior players aged 14 to 18. Tom Finney asked his father to help him get a trial. His father met with trainer and it was arranged for Finney to have a trial. Tom Finney had an outstanding match in the trial and was immediately offered a contract. He went home and he went home to get his father's approval, but his father refused, insisting that he must first complete his apprenticeship before signing professional terms. Preston were nevertheless happy with this, and Tom Finney joined them as an amateur doing his training in the evening after work and eligible to play for the club's junior team. Once normal competition was restored, Tom Finney made his debut for Preston in August 1946 and soon established himself as an agile forward. Uh, Post-war demands for plumbers ensured that he had a second income to supplement the wage he received as a footballer and was nicknamed the Preston Plumber. 28 days after his first league appearance for Preston and age 24, Tom Finney made his England debut against Northern Ireland in Belfast, scoring once in England's 7-2 victory. Tom Finney referred to this as his proudest day as a footballer. He went on to win 76 caps and score 30 goals in an England career which spanned 13 years and included 51 victories. In 1952 Preston's chairman rejected an offer for Tom Finney and Finney, Tom Finney remained a one club player. He was voted footballer of the year in 1953 to 1954 season as footballer of the year again in the 1956 to 1957 season becoming the first player to win the award more than once uh, he had played his entire career for his local club making 433 league appearances and scoring 187 goals tom finney was subject of this is your life in 1988. On the 31st of July 2004, Tom Finney unveiled the water feature sculpture The Splash by 
the stuff to Peter Hodgkinson outside Deepdale Stadium, which at this time housed the National Football Museum. The sculpture was inspired by the 1956 sports photo photograph of the year, which shows Tom Finney beating two Chelsea defenders at a waterlogged Stamford Bridge pitch, which was taken on the 25th of August 1956 by photographer John Horton. Um, so as well as the splash, the, um, one of the stands at Preston North End is named after him. There's a road named after him, a school named after him, a, a special needs school named after him, and there was a bus. Uh, there may well be other things as well, but I can't remember anything else off the top of my head. So, um, quite a few things are named after him, and um, 